there so we can see you. Silence for the marriage, please, everybody. Silence for the marriage. <laughs> Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today, but it could have just as easily been yesterday, or the day before yesterday, or a week on Tuesday. No, that wasn't the right number. But lo, after an eighth of purple haze, it, right it was written that Ben and Libby should be brought together in matrimony on this day by the holy power vested in me by the Universal Life Church and Company, LLC. <laughs> a marriage which is to be commended among all men and Patrick, and therefore is not to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently, discreetly, and solemnly, like on a beach in Mexico. <laughs> into this holy estate, these two persons present now come to be joined. If any person can show just cause why they should not be joined together, other than questions around the legality of this ceremony, <laughs> the fact that I don't believe in God, they've already got married, their age gap, let them speak now or forever hold their peace. <laughs> Marriage is the union of husband and wife in heart, body, mind, shared love of folk music, and a common appreciation of sleeping under bridges. <laughs> but most importantly, it is a means for a stable and loving environment to be attained. An environment where smiles are always shared and a stable emotional tie maintained even if they return home from long travels to see that Ben forgot to order food. <laughs> <laughs> Through marriage, Ben and Libby make a commitment together to face their disappointments. Band member walkouts, drop from local radio playlists and embrace their dreams, finding new band members picked up by new local radio stations. Ben and Libby will promise one another to aspire to these ideals throughout their lives together until they get hunted down by the immigration authorities <laughs> in who knows which country. This occasion marks a celebration of love and commitment with which this man and this woman begin their life together. And now, through me, he joins you together in one of the holiest bonds. Who gives this woman in marriage to this man? I do. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Patrick does. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I guess that means Patrick can because we are now one family. Take it away, Sean. <laughs> no, no, we are family. <laughs> we are family. Bum Patrick and Debbie. We are family. Ben Patrick and Libby. <laughs> John, John. This is the beginning and continuation of the growth of their overdrafts. <laughs> By gathering together all the wishes of happiness, fondest hopes, and currency of any denomination for Ben um, and from Libby, from all here present, we can assure their travels continue before their creditors catch them. <laughs> These moments are so meaningful to us, as evidenced by Ben saying to me at breakfast, keep this thing short so we can start drinking. <laughs> this relationship stands for love, loyalty, honesty, trust, but most of all, multiple photos posted together on Facebook. <laughs> before they knew love, they were friends with benefits. And it was from this, well, these seeds that their destiny of marriage was created. Marriage has been described as the best and most important relationship that can exist between two karaoke partners. It is thusly that this exchange of vows is not made lightly. Do you, Ben, take Libby to be your spiritual, if barely legal, wife? Interpret that however you like. To live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony. Would you love her, comfort her, honour her and keep her in sickness and in health? For poorer and yet poorer still. For better and for worse in sadness and joy and under the influence of hallucinogenic drugs. <laughs> to cherish and continually bestow upon her your heart's deepest devotion, forsaking all others until you get that big record deal. Whichever comes sooner. Um... Yeah, yeah, I do, I do, I do. And do you, Libby, take Ben? to be your barely legal husband, <laughs> to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony. Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him, whether in Nottingham or Spain or China or Bum Towers or Rikers Island, for poorer and yet poorer still, for worse in sadness and in joy, and to continually bestow upon him your heart's deepest devotion, even when he looks older than 17. <laughs> And now, the presentment of the wedding rings. 
May these rings be blessed as a symbol of this affectionate unity. These two lives are now joined in one unbroken circle. Wherever they go, may you always keep these receipts just in case you need your money back. I now officially declare you husband and wife. Peter, you may kiss the bride. <laughs> <laughs> ben dropped a bombshell on me this morning. He told me that he's actually had a job for eight years, organizing archery class for corporate executives. Well, Ben, in the short time I've known Libby, I can say you've hit the bullseye. And Libby, well, what can I say about my mainest man and my favorite 40 year old Ben? Is this. Now you pay Peter. All together. Or just short. <laughs> <laughs> now Carrie is the form, he hasn't already sung. <laughs> Nothing you That's can say, but you can learn how to live his life his way. It's easy. <laughs> no money for him, you ever need, need to make. make. <laughs> Just pop brownies for him, you need to bake. <laughs> Nothing you can do, but you can learn how to be you in time. It's easy. All together now. All you need is love. Ba -ba -da -da. All you need is love. All you need is love. Love. Love is all you need. One more time. All you need is love. All you need is love. All you need is love. Everybody. All you need is love. Love. Love is all you need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, y